It's Amy. I'm Lorraine. And we're the Popex Sisters. So this video is kind of like a, isn't it, would you say carry on from the other one? Yes. Yes. On our uni. Yes. Yeah, so if you've not already checked that out, go and look at that maybe before you watch this one. But yeah, this one is kind of our things you shouldn't bring. Yeah. And things not to bring. Yeah. But there's no point. I'm, and then also things random you probably things. will forget. Yes. So let's so, get into it. Let's do it. So starting with kitchen. Yeah, basically, don't bring any luxurious kind of kitchen items. So yeah. by this, electronics mainly. Yeah. We mean you're not going to need to bring a kettle. No. Microwave. Toaster. Anything yeah. like that. Obviously, if you're living outside of uni accommodation. Yeah, this is for people in different. halls. Yeah, so this, this is for yeah, halls. Yeah. So you won't need it. Don't no. bother. And no. uni probably wouldn't even let you. I feel like they'd yeah. do a check and be like, we've not checked. It's because I think... Electronically. They have to, you know sometimes on the back of kind of plugs, plugs, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, there's, it's like a check, isn't it? Like the main yeah, it's got man a, is an electrician, not me. Yeah, so they just don't want anything that could be a hazard, which is yeah. understandable because you're living in like flat blocks and things like that. So, But before you go, you just don't know, do you? No. Okay, so you're not going to need an iron and an ironing board. board. No. Both of our unis provided that didn't yeah, they yeah they did i'm just laughing because it's like i don't think i ever use mine which no is actually quite shocking i wear a lot of things but, that don't need anything, yeah. but, <laughs> but yeah they, if you did need it they did have it obviously yeah. you're sharing that with people but who cares like yeah it's fine you're not all there's not gonna be a mad rush no. to iron in something and also in a lot of uni halls you have like um what's it called the wardrobes have things that you can hang on so even if you did oh, iron yeah. bash all out, you could just oh yeah <laughs> you could just kind of like hang it up you don't mm. need to yeah yeah okay so the next one is if if you're not really someone that cooks if you're not a wannabe chef yeah don't bring weird things like blenders or whisks, whisks and things like that or sieves because it's, it's, yeah because realistically are you going to be cooking that kind of meal no. and your beans on toast person. yeah if you're beans on toast person, you're not even gonna need that and i'm a cook but when you're only cooking for yourself, you yeah. literally don't need half of this stuff. You end up finding ways of like without using it. Yeah. You don't need a whisk. You can literally use a fork. <laughs> Come on, guys. And even if you end up needing one, you, you can buy just one. buy one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're not very expensive, I don't think. Okay, this one um is just like please don't bring a large knife collection. Yeah. Again, this is for the chefs. That could be a bit scary for your housemate. Yeah. Because a lot of the time, like, I do get it that you don't just want to use a butter knife if you're cutting into, like, certain things. Meat but you just tools. don't need to bring, like, <laughs> you know, you don't sets. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Here you are seven to... blades, like, your housemates no. will be like... Yeah, because I had a friend and she had knives. So <laughs> Were <was> you like... scared? <laughs> Maybe when I first met her, but obviously at the end. You but, knew her. Yeah, I was like... Um, okay, don't... With this one, it is personal preference, yeah. but I would advise don't bring too much of you know, cutlery, plates, all that. Yeah, yeah, you know, three plates, you can just wash one. You can, you've yeah. not washed your lunch one by dinner, you can use that one. But to have exactly. seven or eight is just excessive. It is. And glasses, I mean, you can always buy that when you're friends with your yeah. housemates if you need more. But one oh. thing we will say about cutlery is... Get something that is kind of unique. Yeah. So, I know obviously you might be used to just having your normal silver, whatever your, yeah, that your, your house. Have. Yeah. But I'd get something with like a red, maybe like a colour on it or something yeah. that you know that is not some, someone yeah, else Yeah, we don't have. mean like something bougie and ingrained. No. Nothing expensive. You could go to Wilkinson's yeah. or I don't know where else is homeware. Tesco. Do they do that? Maybe. Forks, maybe. Tesco. And just get something where immediately you're like, that is my fork. Yeah. Just so you know. And I mean, not that I'm going to tell you to beef your housemate. <laughs> but if someone's using all your stuff and you can't find any, you can be like... It is that, you, is my that is my like, fault. We don't have the same one. Yeah. <laughs> and like as well, well, this is kind of a tip rather than don't bring. Um, when you're in uni, you're living that student life. So I'd suggest maybe getting some like plastic cups. You know, like the kiddie yeah. ones. Because sometimes I had them. Sometimes to do shots, but otherwise just so that like if you've got friends around, those little kiddie cups. Mm. Your friends don't care what they're drinking. Like they don't need like massive glasses. And then you're not thinking, oh, I've got to do the washing up. True. I had a no, house. Not, no, it was the ones you washed. Oh, yeah. I know Remember what you ones? mean. Yeah. yeah, I thought you meant like um, party cups. Party cups. No. I had a friend that a uh, housemate, and she got bored of um, <laughs> washing up, and she got like plastic plates. 
so she could just bin it. And I was like, fair play. If you don't want to sustainable. Oh, sure. Yeah, true. <laughs> but yeah, I had plastic cups because so then you're not afraid of anything breaking, especially if you're having like people over. True. Very true. Okay. Let's go to the room. The yeah. Door. <laughs> so, ooh. So I, I kind of mentioned this in the last video, but this is just for anyone that's not watched that one. Um, do not bring fairy lights, candles. Yeah. I mean, especially not candles. Check. They, because basically, when you're in uni halls, they do like inspections. Yeah. Here and there. Yeah, I'd say four in the year. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's not, not like, like every week. Yeah. But if they see candles, they will confiscate it. Yeah, mine got confiscated. Yeah. I had to Although, get like, and I love a clean smelling, like it, candles are my thing. Yeah. So I had to get like sprays, which weren't the same, sprays. but yeah, there's just no point. Fairy lights yeah. as well, like the electronic thing we yeah. mentioned, they can get a bit funny Odd. about that. So. I think it's because they think it's a fire hazard, which is understandable. Cause yeah, again, you're living with <laughs> yeah. not just yourself. Yeah. You're living with loads of other people. I, I do so. get it now on reflection. Yeah. I think sometimes they might be partial to battery Fairy lights, but maybe. then I'm not sure. Maybe. Then maybe that's but the then issue. They might maybe like, like, don't that's bring cheap it cheap and it's going to set the building on oh, fire. Oh yeah, don't bring fairy lights. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, the next one is um, don't use blue, blue tack, tack and yeah. even white tack because I <laughs> I just Jeez. made all these errors and I'm helping you guys. I used yeah. white tack because I thought it was being really smart and I hung up like photo pictures. Uh, stuck pictures and then when i was moving out they were like there's oil stains yeah. from that and you're gonna get charged so bear so in like... mind that they in most halls so both of us had this i don't know why they did that because <laughs> there is a place you can put pictures <laughs> or like oh what like stuff the board like yeah, mine the board. was in a bad position though i wanted it the minute i walk in i can see my decor but do you want your deposit hands I, listen yeah, to me listen. <laughs> yeah there's a pin board so you can bring those little pins and stick your pictures on there it's not next to your bedside but You'd rather do that than have to pay. Yeah. Okay, so don't bring your entire wardrobe. No. It's, it's, it's pointless. Yeah, I know it, is, you, it is pointless. I was the same. You start thinking, oh my God, it's the first time like, I can wear my own clothes and stuff. Because yeah. I went somewhere, I went to a sixth form, so I had never really worn my own clothes. And I brought loads of them. And then you just don't wear them. You've got your staple few pieces. And then as the year goes on, you, you just stop giving stuff effort. Or, yeah, you don't care. Yeah, I ended up being... So yeah, don't bother. And no. when you're going home, you want there to Always be clothes there. Exactly. Like home home to your yeah. parents. And it's also good to like sometimes switch. So you're like, you know when you're going home and you're taking a little bag of stuff? You can True. go and bring new clothes. Even though they're not new, but the people who you're at uni don't know that. That's a good point. That's a really good point. Yeah. Okay, what's the next one? Okay, so this is really important, especially for international students or people that live far away from like um, their uni, uni yeah. so this is like don't big bring big bulky luggage if yes. possible the people who are close who live closer obviously like your moving day you're probably going to bring stuff if yeah. you're if you've got help but i would not advise that because there is nowhere to put it like no, i had housemates do that and they really yeah. struggled they had to either put it in the wardrobe or put it above and it just takes up, up space, space. It and does. your room isn't going to be huge so yeah. you want as much available space as you can yeah um, especially if you're claustrophobic <laughs> so yeah try we touch on this later but moving boxes are your friend yeah. but yeah international students international i guess students. but sometimes there are like cupboards that or they maybe can talk to your halls and see if there's any kind of storage yeah place, place they could just yeah. store it for you yeah, I would double check. But people who don't live as far and your family's are dropping you off or whoever, yeah. do not l l keep suitcases. your suitcases. You can pack a little, you know those like trolleys you can take onto aeroplanes? Yeah, for when you Or duffels, home. those are good because then, yeah, it's easy to move them about and find little places, but anything bigger than that, I wouldn't Same. suggest. Mm. So both of us, this has never happened to us. No one's ever stolen anything valuable from us, no. but we never took anything valuable with us I'm talking about jewellery here. Yeah, so if you've got expensive watches, um, earrings, necklaces, Cruises. whatever, like, and you wear them at home, and you might just second, you might not even think about it, you've just yeah. packed it. Think again, because just because... If you lost it, you'd be distraught. Yeah, first of all. Second of all, we've mentioned how you should have your door unlocked and, like, yeah. wave at your housemates and stuff. There's, like, a trust thing, and especially in the beginning, yeah. you don't want to be having that door open if your expensive jewellery is in there, and they yeah. know because they've seen, seen it on you. On you. Or... So just be smart. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you are a student. Like, no one cares if you've got a necklace from a designer mm. or whatever. So I'm just, like, be careful. Obviously, if you want to bring it, bring it, but yeah. I'm, like, 
You don't want to be upset about something if yeah. it goes missing. If you're going to do and that, maybe have a safe. Buy oh, yeah. a little safe and bring it with you. Okay. So this one is... This one depends on the uni town and where you're going. 100%. But basically, it's if you don't need to, don't bring your car. Yeah. <laughs> so my uni, I really didn't need to have a car no. because we had a free... I went to Kingston, for anyone that doesn't know. Um, there was a free shuttle bus, uh, multiple ones, that sent me around mm. town into the different campuses. So I would have never had to have a car, no. even though there was parking in Kingston. Yeah. So mine is in a big city. So mine literally, they did not even have parking that was free at all, even oh, near no. my uni, near my accommodation. So the, yeah. if people drove, it would have been no point. You wouldn't have known where to put your car without maybe getting a fine. But I do know for a fact that our small unis, so let's say I think, or even not even smaller, but the town isn't as busy as like some yeah, of these like big Bristol. ones. You know some people oh, that yeah. go there and do they have their cars? Yeah, yeah. And they do have their car. And I know someone in Gloucester, I think, and I think they have their car as well. Yeah. But yeah, I would check kind of like either looking on Google Maps or just looking at, you know, sometimes in uni pages there's like FAQs. I think yeah. it tell you there if there's going to be parking or not. Yeah. Because you just do not want to bring your car and there's nowhere for you to put it. I think especially first year, second yeah. or third when you're in a house, you can rethink and yeah. maybe bring your car, but yeah, first year. First year probably not. Your point. So this one is the course, more to do with like, yeah, actual studies. So yeah, the course. Um, don't bother buying any books before no. your first semester. Because sometimes the... You lectures. obviously don't really, yeah, lectures and stuff can even change books or be like, yeah. oh no, this one, we prefer this edition, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So yeah, I would wait, you can just get it on the first week. When you go in, normally the lectures tell you like, we're going to be using this yes. semester, blah, 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 but yeah, don't get anything before. And also for my students that don't want to splash the cash on books, yeah. your library will 100% yeah. have it. Yeah. It's just a matter of whether someone's booked it out and you have to wait a week. Yeah. So I personally didn't buy that many books. I think I bought two. Yeah. in my years because i used to just take out books and in do library. my reading yeah. yeah so don't worry you might not have to spend a lot yeah. of money on books and a lot of the time you can buy books off like amazon or places like that so like you will get it within a few days so yeah don't worry even if they say you need it this week by the next yeah, week you don't. don't stress too much because they just want you to have it by yeah next week. they know that people will be lazy yeah Okay, do not bother bringing your A-level notes or whatever further education you did before, before uni. Yeah. You don't need it. No, it's most gone. likely they're starting with a clean slate. Yes. Because some subjects, you did not do that in college, whatever. So you are literally starting yeah. from, not the beginning, but yeah, kind of, they want you to- They'll kind of, teach yeah. you their style. So even yeah. though you might think you've got great notes and it yeah. is linked to your degree, yeah. that might not be what they're looking for. No. So it's better to just go, like you said, clean slate, like, listen to what they're looking for, how they'll be marking, and yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, do you want to say this yeah. one? So, do- oh, I was going to say, do <laughs> So, don't bring a printer. There yeah, is no don't. point, especially in your first year. No. There's literally no point. There isn't. They're, your uni's gonna have them. Loads of them in the library yeah. or I don't know where, but mine was. And it costs like 5p a page or it less. And you get credits. Yeah, so you do get credits in your first... Well, it carries on to all don't pay, years. do they? No. Or do they? Even I don't and I'm not even a fresher. Do you? I used to have to pay in Kingston. We get well, a I credit. I don't think he did as a fresher, so... No, we get a yeah. credit amount, and then if you use that, oh then obviously... Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah. We should have had that. And apparently, with my uni, if you don't use it, you can withdraw it. Oh, <laughs> what, it's cash? Yeah. Oh my god, and you so, had a printer. Yeah, I know, exactly. Oh, so. You'll be getting a nice be, payout. Exactly, so, um, yeah. Yeah, you don't need one. And it's also, again, like we're saying, space consuming. True. If you do have it, you're just going to end up not knowing where to put it in a studio. Yeah. Okay, so we're about to move on to random things we think you should take, but before we do, we just wanted to say, don't worry if you've forgotten no. anything. Don't panic on the way to uni thinking, oh my god, I, I forgot got this. this. Or you see your housemate with something. Yeah. First of all, you're going to go home at reading week. You, well, you can. Yeah. There's like two weeks off in October. Exactly. And like we were saying, most things nowadays you can get online. Yeah. So or just get it on. The town. Yeah, from the town yeah. or whatever. So yeah, don't worry. I think yeah. that's the thing. Like if you do forget things, don't stress. It's, yeah, because I think I was really like, oh, I don't want to forget it. Yeah. I'm not sure I've got everything. And then I'm so much. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Right, things we think you may not have thought of that you need to yeah. think. 
So this one is more for if you're going to uni in the same country. And this is getting moving boxes. Yeah, so before September, because trust me, when September runs around, you'll be asking places and they'll be uh, like, so sorry. people are taking it, yeah. they're going to uni. So yeah, start stocking up now. What, yeah. what are we in July? July. Just go to home? Yeah, home base, Ikea. Some supermarkets and, you could ask. Yeah, some supermarkets and Costco, I'd say. Good shout with Costco. Yeah, because yeah. I think I think mum got a lot of mine yeah. from Costco. Yeah, and just stockpile. They'll have it folded probably so it's not going to take up space in your house yeah. um, or even if it is just pile it in one corner of your room like you are mm. going to need to use it um, and some of these places do it for it give you boxes for free as well so oh yeah those even... are for free by the way like if somewhere tries to charge you they really Try shouldn't look at these places first yeah you. they should just give it you free because it's going to go into recycling anyway. anyway okay so this is for my party yeah. Part of people. Um, without fail, most fresher events have fancy dress. Not all of them, but there will be. I can guarantee you, there'll be a schoolgirl night or you know, school boys, whatever. <laughs> so take your high school tie and a white shirt or whatever shirt. Um, I can't think what else. There'll be other themes, but yeah, just yeah. bear that in mind if you are going to go to a freshers event. Check yeah. out the fancy dress. Yeah, because my uni had like was different, so I didn't do that. But I've heard <laughs> loads of unis do do that, so I yeah. would suggest. And as well, you don't need to I second that. Yeah, I second that. <laughs> and also, you don't need to end up spending loads of money because yeah. getting costumes can be so expensive. Yeah. I think. Oh yeah, don't spend loads of money because everyone's like looks like shit. rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. This one is having a laundry bag. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. And I you can tell how much she. Did. Yeah. <laughs> no, because if you that is one thing that I think I would have forgotten. But my mum was like, "Oh, Amy, here's this," and I was like, mm. "OMG!" Because yeah. you don't just want to put like your dirty clothes on the floor. And in uni, like I said, you're getting a small room. Mm. You don't want to like. It's all about yeah, co time, not time. I know what you mean. Space effect. <laughs> yeah, is that yeah, a yeah, yeah. I What's don't know. We've just made it up. Yeah. But yeah, being space effective so that <laughs> you don't just have your clothes right around. And also, it's just great. And when you're taking yeah. it to, it's not embarrassing. People don't. You don't want to be carrying them in like your yeah, knickers full on the floor oh, or yeah. something, or in you're doing tote socks. Bags, just... and you've seen the guy that you think's really fit in the uni, and it's all that. This is all a the true girl. story. Um, all the girl. Um, and also washing powder. I totally forgot this. Yeah. I had like my washing bag. And... Because we have quite sensitive skin, so yes. we had to like text I, our mum. Like, like, which one am I not allergic to? Yeah. Um, also touching on this, don't forget pound coins because I don't know. All you need to different was yours free. Um, mine wasn't free, but mine was an app on my phone. Oh, really? Yeah, times are changing. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm showing my age. No, I'm joking. Well, I ours think was like, you had to put a pound coin in, I think. Mm. Or, and and also for the tumble dryer. So I think every load was like two quid. But so, yeah, a yeah. tip with that is always just either sit outside of the laundry place or yeah. just stay nearby because the amount of times I heard people be like, oh my God, someone's taking my top. I would have my... gone mad. Who goes in Who there? Who does and that? Like, it's like, oh, I'll just... Take someone's underpants. Like, I, uh, I used to stay there. I'd either go with a friend and be like, yeah. oh, I'm going to do laundry. Do you want to like just come and sit with yeah. me? Or I would just have music and I'd sit. Ours was near like a common area. Not yeah. big, you've seen what yeah. mine's like. Not big at all, but I'd just sit somewhere playing music because yeah, it only takes like an hour doesn't yeah it, if that yeah and i didn't personally i didn't feel comfortable leaving my stuff no because like i said that you hear stories unless i had a house sometimes there's a specific housemate and he would be like you can go chill if you want like Aww. i'm gonna stay here but it's just that that kind of thing but i think that's a good yeah. point to add because i'd have forgotten to say that so this is kind of to do with what is it called cutlery yeah Oh no, kitchen utensils. Kitchen. Okay, this so this is one that's important, especially if you're a drinker, and that is a bottle opener. Yes, unless you're one of those people that can do it with their. Oh no, with their teeth. Oh. No, 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 no. But yeah, bottle opener. That's one of those things everyone will love you for it. Yeah, and it's something everyone forgets. Yeah, and know. I also think that's something in your family home that's always there that you just don't think of. Yeah, it's in that drawer. Yeah, that weird drawer where there's loads of random like i know this, everyone like, has that drawer elastic bands and all yeah. sorts of stuff. <laughs> when you get into your uni normally there's just a mattress so with mine they gave us a mattress topper as well so that also like oh, that's good. Nice. yeah but some uni don't do that what you most likely will forget is duvet and pillows mm, they do not provide that i forgot that until you said that yeah 
And if you're better, it'll be a single bed probably. Yeah, it will be a single bed. Mine was like a three quarters, so I got double, a double duvet. Because I'd rather have loads of duvet than like. Not a lot. Yeah, of yeah, like I'm a duvet gal. Out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I got double, and then I got my pillows, and oh, yeah. And don't forget to get like bedding for that. <laughs> We recommend getting two sets. two sets minimum. Okay, mi two sets max. And that you can only just fold and put it on top of your wardrobe. Yeah, because I didn't think about this. So I had my cute, you know, I had done my room. It was all lovely. And then I was like, oh my God, I want to wash my bed. And it was just annoying that it was the middle of the night. I had to wash it, tumble dry it. And then, then, whereas if I'd have had two pairs. pairs I, I had like three beddings because, you know, I love sleeping. So I was prepared <laughs> ones. And as well, bedding can be cheap from some places. I'd say look online or Primark. Yeah, we'll You didn't think about, oh yeah. There was such a big one in Kingston. I used to rinse them for just, you know, yeah. cheap home and yeah. kitchen and especially stuff. like fitted sheets i used to get them i think once from primark because i just wanted like easy i think also it was good that you mentioned a mattress topper i didn't have one and i could not <laughs> sleep for the first t week of being at uni it was just so different for me and then i got one yeah I think mine they one, provided fair, it because my it was, accommodation was she's a bougie or whatever she was iq yeah but also my mattress was so soft that like one of my friends came into my room and they were sat on my bed and they were like oh my god my bed isn't doesn't feel like this and i was like <laughs> maybe that's because yours really got worn out <laughs> <laughs> it looked really new so i don't think that is the case thank you very much so i think it's called brivy britta no. britta britta brivy is a biscuit Bri <laughs> no sorry britta i quote you quote me if i'm wrong but this is a water filter so for you country lot if you live in the countryside or up living north. up north the water can be different you if you go it. down south yeah up north <laughs> you can drink water out of the, the tap, tap sometimes yeah. but here you a water filter will be your friend yeah especially yeah that's a good one because i think i had one and you definitely had one didn't yeah you? just because first of all you don't want to be lugging if you're walking to the supermarket bottles loads of, of bottles of water every time you go second of all sometimes you can just you just want a glass of water yeah it doesn't have to be a bottle and that is you sorted it is but so yeah a water filter is your friend mm. and I, I think people will use it though yeah you're well who cares just, it's you could have it in your room if you bother oh, oh <laughs> speaker yeah so we love our music as you can tell from my previous videos embarrassing dancer. oh my god <laughs> No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, we love our music, so we do. We love speakers. Even if like I'm on my own, I would put yeah, my speakers Yeah, I on. do that. Yeah. So yeah, that is one tip, especially as well if you like doing pre's or yes. if you're getting ready to go somewhere. If your just flat just is going to be a V flat for pre's, yeah, there's always a few. Yeah, they'll love you for having a speaker. They will. So, yeah. They'll be their best friend. It doesn't need to be a big one though. Fun fact. <laughs> Okay, so we have run in, we've gone longer than we planned, so we're just gonna list the next yeah. few. So, extension leads. Yeah. Mirrors. Yeah, there'll be one in your bathroom, yeah. and that'll be it probably. Yeah, um, so an extra door stop. TV. So, if you're a TV person and you like watching games or you like playing on the Xbox or whatever, I don't even know if that's relevant. Um, bring a TV. PS5. Is PS5. That what about? Yeah, bring a TV. Yeah. It doesn't need to be a big one. Just... I think that's everything. Sorry, we had to rush. Our yeah. camera was doing like a red yeah. flashing thing. So, we I hope, hope that, that this helped. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any more questions to do with you or anything, we don't mind talking about no, it. No, it's actually been quite fun, like yeah. reminiscing. It has. And I could have done with this yeah. when I was going. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Bye.